So are you thinking about leaving the San Jose Silicon Valley area and moving to Arizona? There's a newer community called Queen Creek that is kind of southeast of Phoenix and it is growing like crazy, beautiful master plan communities. And I'm going to talk to an agent there who specializes in that area and he's going to tell us all about it. So stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. And lately I've been having a lot of clients thinking about leaving California, just kind of the way it's going right now. So I'm gonna to talk to this agent today from Queen Creek, Arizona. Be sure to stick around after I always include kind of cost of living comparisons of both cities from the San Jose area to the Queen Creek area in this instance. So let's get started. Hi, we're here with John Farron, our realtor expert in Queen, Queens Creek, Arizona. Thank you so much for doing this, John. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. So let's get started. Let's tell, tell us a little bit about you, how you became a realtor, how long you've been a realtor, and then all that. All right. All right. Well, first of all, it's Queen Creek, not Queens Creek. Oh. <laughs> only one, only one queen, not multiples. <laughs> um, and I have been in real estate uh, coming up on nine years, uh, eight and a half years now. Wow. Prior to that, I was a police officer for nearly 27 years in the area. Oh, thank you. And uh, when I decided that wasn't fun anymore and it was time to retire, um, I'd always always had an interest in real estate and uh, just decided, okay, I'm going to retire and I'm going to go get my license and uh, start this second career. Wow, that's so great. So you really know the area. Um, I'm uh, yeah. yeah, I'm an Arizona native and. Uh, my family moved to Tempe, which is a suburb of Phoenix, when I was three years old and uh, been in the, the East or Southeast Valley ever since. Wow. Tell me a little bit, a little bit about Queen Creek then. Um, where is it located? Oh. So, oh. so Queen Creek is about 35 miles southeast of Phoenix. Um, if you're familiar with the Phoenix metro area, we're east of Gilbert and south of Mesa. And Queen Creek was just a farming community, and uh, one day it got discovered. Uh, in fact, Queen Creek didn't even have their first traffic light until about 2001. Oh, and wow. uh, yeah, and uh, it's just started growing, and over the last several years, it's just exploded. Oh my gosh. So I'm assuming there's kind of like master plan communities or just housing developments then, all pretty new? Yeah, everything is is pretty new, and it's it's almost all master plan communities, big big developments with eight hundred plus homes, twelve hundred plus homes, and the community centers within, and and uh, there's just more and more coming. Wow, that, that makes it easy that everything's new and planned out, right? Probably. Yeah, you know, there's there's a couple little pockets of of historic Queen Creek, maybe a little older areas. But for the most part, it's it's brand new. What what uh, what the farmers have found is that their natural crop rotation is kind of like cotton, corn, and then subdivisions. <laughs> and so, um, you know, when they're being offered a bazillion dollars for their for their land by the home developers, it's kind of hard to say no to. Oh man, yeah. Um, and so, how far is that area from, uh, say, the Phoenix Airport? About 35 miles. Oh, okay. And it's all almost all freeway, so you can be there in 30 minutes. Okay. And then we also have we have Mesa Gateway Airport. Um, that's just right on the border of Mesa and Queen Creek, and that's a smaller. It used to be an Air Force base back in the day, and now it's a smaller airport that has a few passenger flights in and out of it, but it's mostly cargo and military training and and corporate flights in and out. Oh, interesting. So tell us a little, a little bit about the housing. Uh, what are we looking at for kind of the median house price? So depending on your source and who you ask, uh, Queen Creek is running anywhere from 340 to about 380 for a median price. I think Phoenix metro area in general is around 330. Uh, and, but that that number changes. It, it changes all the time as um, what, like everybody's experiencing supply and demand, and so I don't know if we're any different, but I do know that we have 
huge demand and very little supply right now. And so that's driving the prices up. Say for around 350,000, what are we looking at? What are you getting? A three bedroom, two bath, like 1,500 square feet? In Queen Creek, that'll get you probably, um, it could get you up to 3,000 square feet in Queen Creek or Santan Valley. Santan Valley is kind of the next community beyond Queen Creek and it all just kind of blends together. Housing prices are a little lower in Santan, uh, but you can get uh, 25, 2,800 square feet for that price all day long. Wow, that's fantastic. It's not California. Yeah, I guess not. Oh my gosh. Are you <laughs> finding you're having a lot of Californians moving there? Um, I have most of my calls and people who come out to actually visit are from California. And do you find from Northern or Southern California more? Is it more? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I from all over. Okay. yeah I'm from all over California. Yeah. I mean, you can't even buy an outhouse for that price here. <laughs> right. You know, I just, uh, just yesterday went under contract on a new build, uh, first time home buyer, small family in Orange County that, you know, they're going to spend four hundred thousand dollars here and get a three thousand square foot two-story home and i'm sure they couldn't do that in orange yeah. county oh my gosh that's fantastic yeah. and so you're basically making it sound like the demand is high right now so let's just say you had someone call from california and they're you know seeing some things online do they kind of need to get in town quickly to if they actually want to make an offer or do they have time to kind of come explore first and then make an offer? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. And it, it kind of depends on if they're looking for new build or if they're looking for resale. Um, let me, let me just tell you about resale first. Um, last, yeah, last week, um, I went under contract on a house with a, with a uh, client from Sacramento who, she has a friend here who lives locally. The friend FaceTimed her during the showing. So the client had not seen the house. We just walked through the house doing FaceTime. And from what she saw, she loved, put an offer in, multiple offers, and we won. And uh, we just did the home inspection on Saturday. And she's set to close here in a few weeks. So yeah, that's fast. you need, yes, um, you need to either do it that way. Um, or you need to get on a plane or drive and get out here quickly. Um, we had low inventory in the resale market, so new builds kind of became the, the easy answer. Um, well, the new builds didn't anticipate the, the amount of traffic they're getting and they're selling out faster than they can build them. So you, you finding a lot right now, even at a new build community is really hard. It's all, on waiting lists and waiting for second phases of developments to open because they just sold out way faster than they anticipated. Wow, so it's hot there. It is it's hot. really hot and it's crazy. And if you're gonna come here expecting to buy your first weekend here, especially in a new build, it's probably not gonna happen. Uh, you're probably gonna end, you're probably gonna find something that you really like and then you're gonna go on a waiting list until they open up. Uh, okay, more lots phase and, then, okay. and i'm guessing the construction time there is about nine months yeah seven eight nine months depending okay but that's pretty average so it's hot there that's good to know other than the weather we know it's hot <laughs> that's what i was just gonna say <laughs> yes it does get hot here um i used to live in north scottsdale for a while and so many people say oh my gosh you could live there it's so hot i'm like you know what eight months of the year it's a dream and so in the summer you just are in air condition and you exactly. look out at your sunny beautiful view oftentimes with the pool and you don't mm -hmm. cool off and you're just fine <laughs> so it's i prefer it's that gorgeous. in minnesota but <laughs> yeah it's gorgeous today i've got the doors and windows open and a nice cool breeze coming through yeah. um so now tell me a little bit about what there is to do in queen creek so i'm guessing there's like hiking trails nearby a lot of arizona has some cool hiking yeah, so Queen Creek sits at the base of the Santan Mountains, and Santan Mountain Regional Park is a 10,000-acre desert park that has hiking trails, biking trails. Uh, there's a um, community, not a community, a place where you can go and learn about stuff. I know there's a word for it. Anyway, um, like where you can go. Center a little bit or yeah, something. yeah, you can, you can go, and they've got exhibits and little videos about the area, and 
and whatnot. So it's it's a really popular place for uh, hikers and bikers to go to. Uh, we also have two uh, lakes that are, we call them lakes. I imagine people in other places might just think they're puddles, but for us, for us, they're lakes and that's war on Canyon lakes. And those are maybe 30 minutes away and you go there for boating, skiing, fishing. Oh, wow. So you can have motorboats and like, oh, yeah. Ski. okay. Wait, yeah. These are, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're big lakes. I think, you know, if you're used to the lakes in Michigan then they're probably yeah. just puddles to you, yeah. but, but they're, uh, they're big enough lakes that you can go there and, and, do whatever you want to on the water. And what about like restaurants? Have they kept up the commercial side and retail side with the housing piece? They're playing catch up. It, if you don't know the actual city limit boundaries, you don't really know when you leave Queen Creek and go into Gilbert or into Mesa. Okay. And so Gilbert has, that infrastructure is here. You might have to drive 10, 15, 20 minutes to, okay. to get to the really cool places. But uh, Queen Creek is definitely coming along. There's plenty to do here. If you want more, there's a whole lot more that's not too far away. Right. And if the airport's a half an hour, I mean, that's pretty much downtown Phoenix. So there's plenty yeah. there. All the spring training. So, yeah, what would be your closest spring training field? Tempe? Tempe, the Diablo Stadium there, um, which back in the day in my previous life, I ran all those events there. It was kind of interesting. Uh, all the spring training and all the other special events that took place in Tempe, but I digress and go down a different path. Um, uh, we also have um, Salt River, Salt River Fields, uh, which is, I guess it's technically in Scottsdale, but it's uh, it's just north of Tempe. Uh, spring training again is probably 30, 40 minutes away. Okay. So it's all there, you know, say within an hour, you kind of have oh, yeah. sports, probably music, concerts, you know, at that within point. an hour, you've got anything you want. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's how we yeah. do. You know, the, the, the new homes are starting out in the, the low threes and, and moving up from there. I mean, we've got $800,000 million dollar homes too, if, you, oh, you do. if, okay. that, if that's your, uh, your market. But four hundred thousand dollars will get you a nice home. Okay, and then that's what I should ask too. Do they have any um, age restricted communities, like a fifty-five and older community, and maybe a community a little bit better with schools and parks for kids, something like that? Or? So the um, the new master plan communities that are going in here, there's um, there's one called Harvest. There's another called Promenade. There's one that's uh, in the development stages called Barney Farms. All of these communities have rec centers, swimming pools, playgrounds, tot lots, splash pads um, throughout. So tons of stuff for the kids to do. Walking trails, uh, walking paths through the communities. And, and that's that's just kind of the standard neighborhood that we're building here now. Uh, for 55 plus, it's Arizona and it's golf. So we have tons of 55 plus communities. Mesa and Queen Creek. And Apache Junction and Gold Canyon are kind of the the hub on the, in the Southeast Valley for for uh, 55 plus communities. Ovation in Queen Creek. It's in two phases right now. They're when they're finished, they're going to have 800 homes, and it's man, it's, I would love to live there. Wow. The 55 plus communities of yesteryear are are not what they're building today. Right. It's not, seen, it's yeah. not your grandfather's. Uh, retirement community no it's yeah they're just so beautiful and so active and i mean pools and clubs and bocce ball and tennis courts and I'm whatever ready. you want <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> come on i know a good realtor <laughs> yeah there you go oh my gosh sean you've given us so much great information i am um definitely i'm gonna have all the links uh, to john's contact info below really just reach out to john he'll have all the info uh thank you so much for taking the time to do this. oh my pleasure really appreciate it and hopefully i will come visit one day <laughs> all righty i look forward to it okay have a good one john all right thanks bye-bye and here's our cost comparison between the two cities and including weather. You can always get a copy of this slide on my website. 
I thought that was a lot of great information from John. I hope you liked hearing about it. As I said, I used to live in North Scottsdale, which is probably maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes from that area. And I didn't even know half of all the new stuff going on down there. So all John's contact info is below. If you have any questions about any of this, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you found some of the information valuable. So until next time, have a great one.